and rain. And, <laughs> and some sunny periods later. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, Welcome, <laughs> Emperor Noel. How are you feeling about being Emperor? Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful and moist. <laughs> Don't th simply think this is an entertainment show and decide then that you don't want to talk to us. Because Mark Prince and the fight against knife crime didn't just turn around and dismiss us as an entertainment show. Actually, I created this show. I do not get paid a penny to do this show. I decided, no fee, I wanted to put my heart and soul into it because I want to fight people like you and your council because I think you're at the heart of what is wrong with this country. No. What a pleasure to meet you. How are you? Uh, do we put tap? Oh, yeah, I suppose we have to, don't we? Here we go. And the other one. Lovely to meet you. And are we allowed to... Sure. Oh, like a bum pad. Yeah, right, OK. Quite... All right, come here, come here. It's quite something, wasn't it? What do you think? Oh, what a view. Mr Van der Bose and Wealdon District Council, I know I'm right. Nick Clegg, he's behind us. David Cameron has given us a statement. And wait for this Wealdon District Council and Mr Van den Bose, who would sneer at what we're doing here, because you're sneering at millions of other people in this country. Just remember, by the way, you're a public servant. Who pays your money? Quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed questions. <laughs> Captain Clumsy and the Queen of Chaos are investigating the situation. The Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, said, quote, the whole country owes Joe a huge gratitude for the sacrifice he has made for our country. <laughs> it is unacceptable that he is being stopped from having the home of his choice. Wealdon District Council must do the right thing immediately and reconsider this case, unquote. She told me yeah. she had this poster on her bedroom wall and I wanted to be between David Cassidy and Donny Osmond no. and I was between the Womble. Yeah. So, so my level... This place over here has got its finger in every blooming pie and is not doing one thing particularly well. They lose the sports rights, they're no longer the dominant force in news. They've got to, they've got to shrink it down and as you know, I want to buy it. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Clumsy and the Queen of Chaos return with the lids. Well done. <laughs> and you're not even that wet. No, I didn't have to get well in. We both nearly went in. That was funny. I want to end this on an up note, because we will get what Joe wants. And in the meantime, I wanted to give you a gift from us to Joe. I know he loves the great outdoors. We did a little bit of research. So I know this is what he would want. It is a oh, state-of-the-art all-terrain wheelchair. It is the latest. It's carbon fibre, aluminium. It's so Thank he can get out and about. Thank you very much. Because, Debbie, believe me, we might not always believe in what goes on overseas, but when we stop respecting the ladies and gentlemen of our armed forces, this country really is in a shocking state. See you after the break. You know, Kiwis will be saying, here, Noel, he's come down here to New Zealand, he's, he's absolutely loaded. Mm -hmm. And he is now, he's milking us for our cash for our, for our radio station. Any Kiwi who said that, I would like to take round the back and give a good old smack to. It merely remains for me to say, I hope wherever you are, that you're with the ones that you love this Christmas. A very happy Christmas to you. <laughs>